Minister, um, I would reiterate and reinforce what my colleague have said and have great regard for yourself. I am disappointed that Minister Flanagan isn't here to take this, and I think that's an example of how he and how government treat Dublin when it comes to policing. Like, we've really got to get serious about crime and criminality in the city and county of Dublin. And, like, I've raised issues directly with Minister Flanagan just before Christmas. And in the DMR North, which is a lot of the area that I represent, we have over 300,000 people, we've lost 147 Gardaí uh, since 2010. 147. Now, I do want to start on a, on a small positive. And because of the community action in places like Balbriggan and in Swords, and supported by myself, who have continually raised the issue of lack of community Gardaí, the Government have announced, and the, the Garda Commissioner announced, an additional five co community policing, uh, community Gardaí in Balbriggan, which will increase it from two for a population of 38,000 people, two community guards up to that, five additional, that is welcome, absolutely long overdue, but very, very badly needed. And in Swords as well, which is the size of a city, we have a population of over 50,000. We have 10 community guardee. That's it. And an extra five were announced, and I do welcome that. But I put it to you because of the continuing pressure that we're putting on uh, the Minister for Justice and the Department of Justice to actually deliver the additional guards. I think you'll agree with me, Minister. People deserve to feel safe and secure in their own communities and in their own homes. And there are large parts of my constituency, large rural swathes in Garristown, we've one guard. Rush Garda Station was closed, Malahide Garda Station closes at 9 o'clock, and no community Gardaí in Malahide at all, zero, for a population of just under 30,000, and the station closes at 9 o'clock. The fastest growing part of the country, Fingal, and we've lost one in five Gardaí in five years. One in five, 20 per cent of the force. Now, not only the impact that has on the community, on intelligence gathering, on, on experience within our force, but the effect it actually has on the community itself. And what I really want to hear from government today is that policing in Dublin is a priority. I meet with the chief superintendents in, in, in my own district and inspectors, and I see the work that they're doing and the rank and file guard are doing. In really, we've just had a debate on the alcohol bill before this, in the whole area of drugs and illicit drugs. Our drugs unit in North Dublin is half of what it was in 2010. We've lost one in two of the Gardaí in that unit, 50 per cent of the numbers are down. It cannot continue, and it can't. And we're putting you on notice, and Fianna Fáil in Dublin here, with four Dublin TDs, are putting government on notice that we won't accept this any longer, that we want you to resource the Gardaí in Dublin County and in Dublin <coughs> City. And the figures are borne out absolutely, as Deputy Le Hart has, has outlined, and in my own DMR district, 147 Gardaí gone with a population that's grown nearly 8 per cent. Thank you, Deputy, for raising period. this very important matter. And obviously, the deputies are, are passionate and serious about this, and I appreciate that. I am obviously taking this topic issue on behalf of Minister Flanagan, who uh, can't be here this evening, since his apologies, Cahillac. I should say at the outset that the distribution of Gardaí is exclusively the statutory responsibility of the Garda Commissioner. That said, I'm aware that Minister Flanagan met with the Commissioner and his management team as recently as Monday of this week, and the issue of resources was one of the matters discussed. The Commissioner has, has advised that the overall strength of the DMR um, as of the 31st of December 2017 was 3,485. When appropriate, the work of local Gardaí in the DMR is supported by a number of Garda national units, such as the Armed Support Unit, the National uh, Bureau of Criminal Investigation, the Garda National Economic uh, Crime Bureau and the Garda National Drugs and Organised Crime Bureau. The deputies will be aware that the Garda College as Deputy Corbyn said, I would say, and he predicted this, I'm going to say it, in Templemore was closed in 2010, even though he doesn't like me saying that, but I'll say it anyway. It was closed by the then government because of the severe and catastrophic economic crisis that the country was plunged into, and the closure of the college and the moratorium imposed at the time had obviously had an impact on numbers in Angadishi Corner, and it would be disingenuous to attribute the decline in numbers to anything other than that factor, and they don't like hearing this, but that's the fact. When the last government... Thank you, Cahilla, for your protection. When the last government came into office, the initial focus was on stabilising the public finances and then returning the country to growth. Once that had been achieved, one of the government's first actions was to reopen the Garda College in Templemore. Since the reopening in September 2014, just 1,600 recruits have attested as members of Angarda Shikana and have been assigned to mainstream duties nationwide. 719, or 45%, have been assigned to the Dublin metropolitan region. I am aware that while the Garda strength of the DMR East, North and 
not uh, central divisions show an increase, uh, uh, a slight increase between 2015 and 2017. The overall strength of the DMR shows a marginal reduction at the end of 2017 compared to 2015. As the deputies will appreciate, the challenges presented by gangland crime over the last two years has, have necessitated investment in the specialist units to enhance their capacity to support the fight against this scourge. I am advised by the Commissioner that 100 extra Gardaí were assigned to the specialist units within the special crime operations in 2017. In addition, a dedicated armed support unit for the DMR was established at the end of 2016 in order to enhance armed support capability in Dublin and to free up the resources of the emergency response unit. I can assure the House Cahillac, that the Government is committed to ensuring a strong and visible police presence throughout the country, including on the streets of the capital, in order to maintain and strengthen community engagement, provide reassurance to citizens and to deter crime. To make this a reality for all, the go for all the Government has in place a plan for the overall Garda workforce of 21,000 personnel by 2021, including 15,000 Garda members. Real, tangible progress has been made towards this goal. Garda numbers taking into account, uh, taking account of projected retirements increased to 13,551 at the end of 2017, and an uh, increase of over 600 since the end of 2016. And I am pleased that funding is in place to maintain this high level of investment in the Garda workforce. This year, a further 800 new recruits will enter the Garda College, 200 of whom have already entered since January 29. Also, 800 Garda trainees are scheduled to attest during this, the year, which will see Garda numbers taking account of projected retirements reach 14,000 by the end of this year, that's 2018. Undoubtedly, the ongoing recruitment process will support all Garda activities and enhance visibility within our communities and will enable the Commissioner to provide additional resources across the Dublin Municipal Region as new Garda recruits continue to come Thank on stream. Thank you. Yeah, Minister, it's kind of the same response that Minister Flanagan gave before and a bit of nonsense in the middle about you know, throwing blame at, at Fianna Fáil when you guys have been in government for, se for seven years. Pat, relax for a second, will you? For seven years you've been in government. And over those seven years you've presided over the decimation of Angarda Siakana. Certainly in my own area you have, actually. Remember smart police? Do you remember that? Your former colleague Alan Shatter, if you remember him. Do you remember that was a policy by your government? Smart policing. Wasn't very smart for the communities out there, I can tell you. The whole area of, 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 of repeat offenders. That's an area that, that you guys have just abdicated your responsibility completely. Why is it that we've had 15 gangland murders in this city in 27 months? Do you, you're asking the Gardaí in Dublin, city and county, to operate with one hand tied behind their back. They are not being given the resources they deserve. They put their lives on the line for us, and this government does not prioritise Dublin. I attended a meeting this week in Donabate with over 300 people. Population in Donabate and Port Ran is over 11,000 people. We have no Gardaí there, none. And that that's designated as an area for future growth, where the population are crying out for a new Garda station. There's no point in having a new Garda station unless we have the guards. So I'm asking you to take what Fianna Fáil and Dublin are saying seriously and to prioritise Dublin and to make sure at the very least that we're not being disproportionately affected versus other areas in the country, coincidentally Leash, which is the Minister's own constituency. Thank you, Deputy.